hey guys welcome back to my channel this is an update video for the 2024 mini twist challenge that i posted earlier and i'm sorry for posting that video and going mia okay i just have a lot of things on my hands um in this video i'm going to be doing a little bit of blend shake i already washed my hair deep conditioned and moisturized um so i want to do a length shake today is the 26th of february so i Hopefully, I'll post this video on the 26th or 27th. So, um, yeah, let's just get into the video. So, I'm just going to apply a little bit of this olive oil on my hands and um, start taking down the braids. I'm just going to talk about the challenge and um, what you should know. The dates for the challenge is um, 1st March 2024. I, as I said earlier, I don't know when I'm going to post this video, but even if you see this video um, mid-March or somewhere or some other time, it is fine. You can still join the challenge, okay? I'd like to try out this mini twist challenge for a year, but for starters, I think we're just going to go for three months, okay? So, um, for me, I'm going to um repaired my twist uh every first of the month um wash and re wash the condition i repaired actually and um i'm going to be moisturizing once a week i also try to um incorporate other stuffs like the scalp massages especially for my edges and nape area where um my hair is thin and out okay and um yeah, it's very important for you to take pictures before you join this challenge. It's going to help you track and um, document how much length and health and volume and all that um, your hair has gained after the challenge, okay? So guys, this is what my hair looks like. My, yeah, I do have a little bit of hair a little bit of volume and all so i want um to return more length and um i also want to go my edges back and uh, i just feel like i have my edges are thinning out okay I actually feel my hair has been stuck at this length for the longest. Anyways, I'm trying to mark the point and um, yeah, I'm just marking it a little bit up, uh, above the the point because um, the rest I'm going to trim it off. Okay. Decided to um, use my measuring tape. Um, I just felt the other method is not so accurate. <sighs> I've actually seen a lot of people do their length check with the tape or the other method. And honestly, I didn't think it was so much work, but tell me why or ask me why I'm struggling with this thing. I just feel like each length, um, like I'm just not getting the accurate measurement. I don't know. I just kept trying I ended up um, taking some pictures and um, yeah I'm still going to make another like do a length shake after I or just take pictures actually after making the twist but um, I don't think I'm going to be relying on this my measurements I already mentioned that my goal for this um, mini twist challenge is um, length retention um, to grow my edges and also my nape area. I also have a problem spot at this. Is it, is it a problem spot? It isn't, but um, I had a little setback at this side of my hair. I cut my hair like from the roots when I was taking down my lock, so it's shorter than the rest. Of my hair as you can see just take a look at that the difference I actually think it's actually it's growing like well but even though 
anyways let's move over to the back section for the um lens check um done I look at my nip, nip area it's actually turning out as i mentioned earlier i don't know why but yeah i'm just going to try and work on it okay my arms were really really hurting at this point but i'm gonna have to do this whole lens check thing Whenever you want to um, take your length check pictures for the challenge, please get someone to help you. I wouldn't advise you to struggle like I was struggling here. Okay. I feel like the hair on my back is actually longer than the one in front. I don't know. I also want to reduce breakage and shedding for my hair because my hair breaks and sheds a lot. I know it's normal for my hair to shade or break but the amount I lose is quite a lot. Some things to have in mind for this mini twist challenge. First, make sure you're starting off on clean hair. Don't go and put your dirty hair into a protective style. Uh, it's not making sense okay wash your hair deep condition moisturize seal in your moisture before you can put your protective style into your pro your hair into the protective style sorry and um for the protective style i'm going to be doing mini twist and as i mentioned earlier you can choose to do mini braids you can choose to do cornrows but just make sure your protective style is something that allows you to have access to your scalp and hair so you can easily wash and moisturize your hair with the protective style in okay and um yeah that's pretty much it i will see you guys in my next video which is possibly going to be um an update video or something else about the mini twist okay i also have a facebook group where i'll be dropping updates daily on that place hopefully um i'm going to link it down in the description um you can join if you're interested 